This is a Prince George's County Public Schools news break. With patriotic fervor and an optimism that has long characterized the American dream, 700 children from 36 different countries joined recently with their teachers, parents, and community and national leaders to celebrate the opening of the brand new Mary Harris Mother Jones Elementary School in Adelphi. The $15 million school, beautifully appointed both inside and out, is an American mosaic, a shining example of cultures all striving for excellence and yearning to breathe free. Era un inmigrante de Irlanda. What do you like best about uh, America? I'll say you get a lot of opportunities in here. It's a free country, you get to do what you want to do. Well, I would like to go to Princeton, and I would like to become a lawyer, and my dream is that I, I, I could get a car from my mom. This is going to be, I am sure, one of the high achieving schools in Prince George's County. So I am so proud to be a small part of this dedication service after a woman who I admire greatly, after a woman who will inspire these kids continuously to continue to strive and can, to continue to do their best. So if self-motivation weren't already enough, the school's namesake, longtime labor activist Mother Jones, is a wonderful role model for children and even adults hoping to make a difference. Uh, I'm actually a coal miner. I came out of the coal mines. I'm a third generation miner. And Mary Harris' mother, Jones, was actually named mother by coal miners in West Virginia, Pennsylvania. And so coming here for the dedication of this has a very, very special meaning for me for two ways, because I, quite frankly, consider myself as one of the children of Mother Jones. And she came out here to live the last few years of her life right at the spot where Riggs Road and Powder Mill Road intersect. And one of the things that drew her to this area is, you know, she lived a very tumultuous life, right, fighting for social justice. And so she really wanted to rest, and she was ill. She lived to be 100 years old. And the fact that this school is so close to the site where she died is just a wonderful testament to her and to Prince George's County. Although Mother Joan's spirit and a look-alike were present at the dedication, the real stars were the performing students, the dedicated teachers, and an inspirational principal. Los estudiantes de Mother Jones son excepcionales. What do you like best about this new school? The thing I like best of this school is teachers, of, uh, teachers and the principal, the lovely principal that we have. I don't think there's nobody better than her. Mother Jones' children are indeed the world's children, poised to make a history all their own. I think it's appropriate that we would bring her here. This will be her final resting place, and she'll have a home, and the spirit of Mother Jones will live here, and hopefully infect a lot of the children that get educated here so that they can go out and fight for social justice and fairness and a better society just like she did. And now, here's the video that was shared with the audience on the day of dedication. From around the world and especially from Latin America, children have come to a new school in Adelphi that is the embodiment of the American dream. At Mary Harris Mother Jones Elementary, the flags of 40 nations testify to a school of cultural diversity and eternal hope in the promise of America. With its soaring windows, vaulted ceilings, and vibrant colors, this Escuela Nueva is a $15 million cathedral of learning, full of the same kind of eager young faces that for over 200 years 
have reflected the optimism of a nation built by immigrants. For being that timely reminder of who we are, Mother Jones is truly America's school. It really represents what America is today, a big fruit salad. And uh, I, I, it's a, the biggest pleasure that I have every day to see the smiling faces of my kids from every part of the world. It's just a really neat place to work. The fact that it's a Hispanic community and most of our students are Hispanic, um, it gives them the opportunity to see something new, something fresh, and I think that they deserve that. From the very first day, everyone celebrated the gleaming new school on the hill. Beautifully appointed on the inside with over 50 rooms, a dazzling media center, and a fully equipped computer lab, and landscaped with a nature trail, big and little playgrounds, and its very own pond, the attractions make choosing a favorite spot a very tough choice. I'm not going to say my office, but I'll say, <laughs> I'll say the library because it's just full of so many information, so much information in there. Um, and I also love Ms. Hansen's room because we have a good um, energy in that classroom. We uh, work together well, and the kids in her classroom are just awesome. I really love the cafeteria. I know people don't like that because they're like vice principals are not supposed to like doing lunch duty, but I really enjoy the time that I spend with the children in the cafeteria. That's our time together. Do you have a favorite part of the building? I, maybe you'd say that the computer lab is your favorite part, or, or maybe not. Um, I, definitely, yeah, I do like the lab. Uh, uh, I get to do a lot of work here. I spend a lot of part of my day here. Most of, of my day is spent here. Uh, uh, but also, I like the, the library. As you can see, we have a beautiful library with a lot of books, and, and, and the open space makes it even nicer for, for the kids to come in. It's very bright. Uh, all of those things uh, make it very nice for us to, to come here and make us want to be here. Mother Jones Elementary was designed to be more than just pleasing to the eye. In fact, its architectural appeal is in many ways largely academic. A lot of research has uh, shown that um, children's test scores actually go up as they work in daylight. And so that what was important in this group of schools was that we bring in this daylight, make it feel light, bright, and airy, the kind of place where you'd, you'd want to go. But perhaps the greatest motivator of student achievement at Mother Jones is its people, its teachers, its administrators, and in a spiritual sense, Mother Jones herself. She's the source of all of our energy. Um, that's what I can say about Mother Jones. Every, the children know who Mother Jones is, what she's about, and how hard um, she fought for the Iron Workers Association, how important it is for them to fight for their education and for them to believe that we believe in them. So she's the source of our energy. Energy and Mother Jones somehow just always went together. Known as the coal miner's angel, this Irish-born firebrand was renowned for her role in championing the rights of mine workers, and not just the adults. For in a long life devoted to bringing dignity to the working class and America's immigrants, Mary Harris also had a special fondness for the least of them, the little children. She spent a lot of her life as a crusader against child labor. When uh, she lived, uh, she was born in the 1830s, died in 1930, she spent a lot, much of her life as a organizer for the mine workers and as a crusader, as I say, against child labor. She believed that children shouldn't be at work in factories when they're 10 years old. They should be in school and they should be learning. Perhaps it was a series of staggering personal losses that toughened Mother Jones for her role as a labor rights agitator. For after losing her husband and all four children to an outbreak of yellow fever, and then seeing her dress shop burn to the ground in the great Chicago fire of 1871, Mother Jones still somehow found the courage and the resilience to start life over, remarkably at the age of 60. It's almost as if her own uh, difficulties in life left her feeling, look, look nothing worse, anything that can happen to me has already happened. I've lost my husband and my children. I've lost my business several times. Nobody could intimidate her or scare her. So she would walk into the face of uh, armed uh, militia or uh, thugs who were attempting to break strikes and face them down and would do so both because she had this grandmotherly appearance 
so that nobody really wanted to club their grandmother, and because she was fearless and courageous. And I long to see the day when labor will have the destinies of the nation in her own hands, and that she will stand a united force and show the world what the workers can do. Mother Joan spent her last years in Prince George's County at the Burgess Farm on what is now Powder Mill Road in Adelphi. And it was there, just five months after celebrating her 100th birthday, that she died. But her life as a role model had only just begun. I think she's a very good role model. She stood up for what she believed in. She took a few lumps on the head for it too, but she, she hung on to her principles and uh, I think that's the kind of people that make the country what it is. Since Mother Jones looked out for the young and the defenseless during her lifetime, she would undoubtedly be thrilled today to see children learning and laughing instead of toiling in dingy sweatshops. She'd be happy to see immigrants treated as first-class citizens. And she's probably smiling right now as she listens to a beautiful boy talk about his beautiful new school. Me gusta el parque. Me gustan los maestros. Y me gusta mis amigos. Que no deberá apreciar. What's not to like in a school where the American dream is being dreamt anew every day and where the guiding light is Mother Jones, a real-life guardian angel. For Channel 96, this is Dave Zarin reporting.